I'm Arthel Neville. Time now for Sunday House Call. And I'm Greg Jardine for Eric Sean. Welcome to everybody there. Joining us is Dr. Mark Siegel, professor of medicine at NYU's Lango Medical Center, also author of The Inner Pulse, Unlocking the Secret Code of Sickness and Health. And Dr. David Samadhi, chairman and professor of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and chief of robotic surgery. Good to see both of you, docs, and Good happy Father's Day to you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you, and Father's Day to everybody out there. It happens to coincide with Men's Health Month. This is a time for raising awareness about male health and how to lead healthier lives. Dr. Siegel? You know, I was shocked to find out that men live five years less than women and that in 1920, they lived only one year less in terms of lifespan. So they're doing, we're doing something wrong here. And obviously, women go to doctors more often to begin with. They go to gynecologists, they have childbirth, they're seeing special doctors, obstetricians for childbirth. They're more geared towards going to doctors. And men are stubborn and, and they macho. don't like doctors. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right. We're, and, and then we only go when we're sick, and then we have to be brought in by women. And David has actually done a big service to get women involved uh, with the Samadhi Challenge to actually help women get involved to get their men to get help. But I wanted to talk briefly about what we're looking for. As an, what I'm looking for is an internist, some big ticket items here. When men are 30, I'm doing testicular exams. I'm doing EKGs. I'm doing basic blood work. I'm looking at thyroid. When they turn 40, I add to that the PSA and the rectal exam. Now, there's been a lot of controversy about the prostatic-specific antigen, but I have to tell you, I need to know in advance of a problem before it exists and then figure out what to do with it. At 50, I look at a testosterone level, Greg, especially men that are getting that big tire around the middle, they could be getting, what? not you. Don't look at me. Not you, not you. <laughs> I'm, but, I'm doing pretty but they well. Could be, you're doing great, but they could be getting fatigued. They could be getting diabetes as a result. Colonoscopy. And I also add a colonoscopy to that, right. a screening colonoscopy at the age of 50. Now, one more thing. I was on David's radio show today, and a guy called in who was 43 years old, and it was a very sad story because he had widespread prostate cancer with a very high PSA that had been overlooked. David and I believe you need that test. And I'm not saying when you get a PSA, you immediately do a biopsy or you immediately do a knee jerk. We want information, and that's what it's about today. And I've asked you both this before. Is there such a thing as too young for guys having it? I mean, you keep hearing the, 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 the age of 50, but shouldn't men start having these tests a little bit younger, Dr. Simone? They should. And we encourage everyone to get at least a baseline PSA at the age of 40. We just heard from someone randomly, 43-year-old with wide metastasis, and spread of cancer, we just came back from another gala, 47-year-old, who died from prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. So if you want to invest in the country, you want to invest in the younger men. And when you find prostate cancer in young men, it's a lot more aggressive. Now, U.S. Task Force in 2011 came up with this guideline that PSA is not a good test. It's not specific. We completely understand it because other things can cause an elevated PSA. But they said that it can lead to some incontinence and impotence and some radiation and stuff. Instead of training better surgeons, Instead of coming up with better techniques, better tumor markers, better genetic testing, which is coming in our field, they basically completely blew off PSA. What was the message to a lot of men out there? Honey, I'm perfectly okay because we're problem solvers. If there's nothing wrong with me and it's a silent killer, why do I need to go see a doctor? That's a huge mistake, and that's when the young guys are coming in with very aggressive prostate cancers. We want you to get a baseline PSA, and based on that recommendation, now 28% lower detection of aggressive prostate cancer. This was published in Journal of Urology from Vanderbilt. I think there is a big message out there. And what I tell people out there is if you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, you don't know what to do. Or if you're elevated PSA, we just came up with prostatecancer911.com. Go to prostatecancer911.com. Both Dr. Siegel, myself, we're available for free to give you advice. Dr. Siegel, if you catch the prostate cancer early, Good question. early detection, What's the success rate in treating it and getting rid of it? Well, that's where an artist comes in. If you go to the right surgeon, someone who has a lot of experience, again, we, we, we tend to prefer robotics. If it's in the right hands, like someone that has thousands of cases behind them, then the outcome is a cure. You get it and it won't spread. If, it, if you get it after it's spread, then you're looking at a life of chemotherapy, bone pain, you know, chemical castration.
So it's really, uh, we believe, I believe all cancers should be caught as early as possible. Lung, breast, prostate. I want to add one more thing, by the way. I really want to rag on men out there because we drink more than women do. We smoke more than women do. We don't exercise enough. We gain too much weight. Our skin, I found out today, Arthel, that we, we sit in the sun longer than women and we have twice the rate of skin cancer. I, so we, we really need to haul it in and do what women do. It's a very important point that what Mark is bringing up is the fact that, you know, precision medicine and personalized medicine, looking at three men with the same type of prostate cancer, I may tell somebody that you don't need surgery and look at somebody else saying that you need to go next week and get this prostate cancer out. How do we know we are now having a lot of genetic testing being done that tells us who is at risk and who is not? And if you don't go and get checked, you don't want to wake up and have a bone pain and back pain and find out that the cancer is spread. By then it's already too late and the quality of life is really miserable. You know what the PSA is in a per person that's been cured by, uh, by a prostate surgeon like Dr. Samadhi? Ellis. Zero. And you follow that zero and that's your marker. That's a great number. So for a lot of times, the first line of treatment, and this is not the surgeon wants to do surgery, but surgery gives you a very accurate staging, Greg. PSA afterwards has to be zero, and we use radiation as a backup plan, and that works really well. Again, experience matters, and talk to the experts in the field. We have good surgeons, we have good radiation oncologists, and we can save your life, but without testing. And my advice is also to AUA and American Urological Association is, we need to wake up and look at these young men coming with metastasis. Because they have more aggressive cancer. About it. They have more so, aggressive cancers than older men. So the, 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 ones with the, ones, the ones with the cancers that are most likely to spread what are he, younger men. What he's also have done, and cardiologists and internists, is that they are taking care of heart disease, which was the number one killer. So if you're going to live long enough, now you're going to die of cancer. Whether it's colon cancer, whether it's uh, prostate cancer and lung cancer, we need to get checked and screened. And that's, that's the message for fathers there. I hope. Okay, good message. We're getting a lot of genetic yeah. testing in there, Greg, where we can yeah. find it earlier and earlier. The key right. is early diagnosis. And women are the key players right. in dragging the guy. All right, so men tested. out there, come on, <laughs> listen up. Go, go see your doctor regularly, get tested. Um, enough said. Very important.